The history of statistics and prediction has been driven by incentives. In fact, the first people who worked on probability and statistics were either advising gamblers or pricing up pensions. So I think if you really want to know who's making good predictions, look at people who are putting their money where their mouth is. And there's a lot of money in motor racing. And a lot of effort to try to predict the future. Because winning isn't just about driving fast. It's also about making the right decisions. What to do as the race unfolds, the weather changes, and the unexpected happens. And this is where prediction and statistics comes in. There are far too many variables for the decision to be left to the driver, or sometimes even to the people at the racetrack. It needs a dedicated race strategist. In the 2005 Monaco Grand Prix, Kimi Raikkonen was in the lead after 25 laps when there was a six-car pileup. The safety car came out and the team had to decide very quickly, should Raikkonen come into the pits or should they leave him out there until the race restarted? And this would decide whether he won or not. They didn't know what to do. And then a two-word email came in from the chief strategist, who was in England, and the email said, stay out. So Raikkonen stayed out, and the people who came into the pits got all jammed up, so Raikkonen went on to win the race. And all because of the power of prediction. So how did Raikkonen's strategist predict the outcome of different strategies? Well, it's all down to gathering a lot of data during the race and applying a mathematical prediction technique to assess the probability of victory. This technique, it's exactly the same as the technique I use for medical predictions and climate scientists use to predict what might happen to the planet. 